you made your film debut in uh, My Name is Khan with oh, no. uh, Shahrukh. <laughs> so tell me about the biggest difference in working in a Bollywood film as opposed to a film like Lion. Uh, one of the biggest differences, as I said, is I think the fact that there's no hierarchy on a set outside of India. No, there isn't always in India, but on this film, particularly the fact that I'm here tonight and I'm clearly, you know, in the supporting cast, but I've been made to feel welcome on, at every level and made to feel part of the story and the story is paramount. So I think we're moving towards that in India as well and I've been a part of some exceptional films uh, recently and I'm about to shoot some amazing films. But uh, I think, you know, Australian filmmaking, the way around it is to be inclusive and uh, this is about identity and it's about bringing together people. So for me, it's very, very exciting to be in this industry again. Dev learned an Australian accent for this film. How would you rate his Australian accent? You know, really, it puts me to shame. What can I say? No, his Australian accent was fabulous. And I remember my agent calling me when the trailer came out, and all she could say is, oh, his accent's bloody good, isn't it? And I said, yep, it really is. I'm going to begin. I mean, there's not many films uh, that deal with the kind of collaboration of cultures between India and Australia. Uh, so when this project came about, you must have just thought, this is a, <laughs> quite a perfect one. I have to be in this, sorry. No. <laughs> No, you're completely right, and I think we're moving towards that uh, in Australian filmmaking. I did a film about four years ago called Save Your Legs, which is about cricketers going to Australia. Really funny. Did you see it? Okay. So, so you know the film. Um, and it was a bit early for its time, because it's a hilarious film talking about cross-cultural nuances. But I think Australia, unfortunately, has been a little bit behind in telling stories about different cultures. Um, but now we're getting there, and it's, I'm so pleased that Garth has taken this under his wing, and he's able to give it the platform that it deserves. So I hope that going forward, more such stories can be told. Do you think it's important that actors do stay in Australia to make, to, to make movies and tell these stories? Because there's kind of obviously a growing trend where you kind of get successful in Australia and then move over to Hollywood or the UK. But do you think it's important to... Way. I've gone from Bollywood back to Australia, so I'm just a weird one. No, um, I definitely think that it's important because I say specifically for me, one of my focuses is, um, you know, pioneering the diverse role in Australia because there are so few actors that get a chance to work in Australia when you come from a diverse background. So personally, I want to be a part of cultural creation in Australia. And I think most actors do feel that. Um, the industry is just not big enough to support all the talent and there's so much talent in Australia. We're so lucky. We have great schools, great technicians. Um, so a lot of our actors are lost to LA or you know now Bombay and, and the UK. But I think everyone's going to come back. I mean, the, the, sort of the main themes really in this movie seems to sort of culture and heritage and never losing sight of sort of where you came from. Uh, is, I'm just wondering, is that something that's very important to you as well? Of course it is. Um, one of my reasons for moving to India was because I felt so close to my cultural heritage as an Indian Australian. And I want, wanted to explore my career, obviously, but also where my parents came from. Um, and this explores that in a different way, but equally as poignant. So, yeah, I think it's extremely important. Do you find that's something that you get more of when the older you get? Do you find, because I find when you're sort of a child, you sort of, it's something you don't really think about. Do you think sort of the older you're sort of getting, the more you start thinking I, about where you come from? I thought about it a lot as a child. I think because I was, you know, when I was growing up in Australia, there were such a, a, a small amount of Indian kids growing up. So it was really obvious to me that I was different. Um, but now I feel a little bit more Australian than I did when I was a kid. But I think it's taken for me to move overseas and realise how Aussie I really am and come back to Australia. But definitely I think there's a growing consciousness that multiculturalism is a real thing in Australia. Just very finally, uh, you've obviously spoken about Dev's uh, Australian accent. How's your English accent? Oh, it's really good, but I'm not going to show off right now. <laughs> Damn it, I tried. Thank you so much for your time. Are you guys excited about being in Tiff? Super excited. Yeah? Yeah, it's amazing. I'm very nervous, but I'm excited. Okay. Uh, now, so, in terms of the film, there's, there's so many different emotions, uh, themes, uh, strength of family, uh, love. Which one do you take away and want audiences to walk away with most? For me personally, it's one of uh, identity and belonging because okay. I grew up as an Indian Australian in Melbourne and I happened to be shooting this film in Melbourne as, a, as an Indian woman who comes to Australia, so it was, right. it was ironic. And um, I think that's the brilliant thing about the world we live in. But until this point, we haven't seen these cross-cultural stories told at this level, um, in, coming from Australia at least. So I'm just excited that this genre of storytelling is opening up because there are a hundred other stories out there willing to be told and ready to be told. Amazing. And you? Um, for me, what, I, I was mostly in the family scenes. So what I took away was, I guess, what it means to be a parent and what it means to be a family. Because you've got two boys that are adopted, 
and then you've got one who, who no, they're both orphans, but one actually has a mum, so he's not an orphan. Right. And he wants to go home, he wants to find his mum. You know, what, what does that mean to him? What does that mean to have a biological mum and a mother that brings you up? A father as well. Um, and then the two boys aren't actually brothers. He has, he has two brothers. He has a sister, um, and now he's got uh, another brother who's not his blood. So, you know, what does that all mean? How, how do we all come together as one unit, as one family? So it's, I guess, yeah, belonging, but also love in, in, a, in, a, in a relationship, love in a family relationship specifically. Now, what was it like uh, working with director Garth Davis? I mean, this is a pretty ambitious first film for him. I, it was exceptional, and you know, I'll claim Garth because he's also a Melbourne man. But, <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, I, for me, it was so poetic to be on set with him every day because the way he would let us be as actors, and you know, and, there, and it was a very non-hierarchical set, which is what I love because. I've come from an industry in India where the hierarchy is augmented all the time. And to see everyone pulling together to make this story work at the same level, it was because of his leadership. And he took on that role with so much elegance and I really appreciated that. And yeah, I, I would just, I, I, it, you have to see it to, to believe it. The way he would let actors unfold, you know, in front of him. And I'm sure you had the same experience. And it really allow you to perform. Exactly, exactly. He'd watch us do what we wanted to do and then tweak it rather than instructing us. So there was a lot of freedom as an actor and as I said, I play, out of all of us here, my, my role is the most supporting. You know, I'm, I'm here as a supporting actor tonight as well, just giving everyone a pat on, pat on the back. But I felt like such an integral part of the film the whole time because of his actions. And you were. <laughs> uh, anything about Garth? Um, yeah, well, you say it's an ambitious project, but for Garth, it's, it's not. Um, this for Garth is like, I'd say, a walk in the park. When you think about stuff like Top of the Lake um, that he directed, um, TV series, absolutely beautiful. Um, so yeah, this is this for Garth is, uh, I'm not surprised, he picked, I think he waited for the best script to come along, picked that one and, and went with it. Um, and he's, he's awesome, he took really good care of us, really good care of us. Alright, well, congratulations and enjoy your night. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys, Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey! hey.